Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Last time we left off, we were kind of finishing up Wolfie's house, which is arguably better than... Whoa, what's this? Uh, I don't need it. It's better than my house sometimes, and... Well, sometimes, in some ways, I mean. Uh, Alright, and actually, I want to start this level... Or, level. Wow. I want to start this uh, video off with an enchant, so... Gonna enchant some trousers. Protection 4, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And the reason I was at level 30 is because I just got back from the nether, which is something else I want to do in this episode. I want to show you what I got, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, oops, one chest here and one chest here. But first, as you can see, we got about four and a half stacks of nether quartz. And also, I have some coal from that Ava caving we did that I forgot to fortune on camera. So, I guess I'll just do that now. I'm gonna just lay as much out as I can and hopefully get it in just nice one section where I can get it all. But yeah, my nether trip was actually not a bad one. And... I'm surprised by how actually kind of decent it was. Alright, so almost done. Oops. Whatever. See, once you place it, there's no point of getting it back to place it in the exact spot you want it. Because then that's just a waste of uh, pickaxe. And we'll do this. Alright, so let's take it from the top. Here's our Fortune 3 pick. We're going to that in our pick slot and let's see how much coal we get it's probably gonna be a ton oh yeah it's gonna be a lot that's good though lots of levels lots of coal and I think it's actually better that I do the coal first because I believe you get more experience from nether quartz so we're gonna get the most out of the smaller amount of experience that the coal gives you I think But, like I said, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm, like, vastly overestimating the amount of coal I was going to get. Because I, as you can see, I put two chests down. I don't need both of those. Or at least I probably don't, but... Oh well, better safe than sorry. Alright, and I underestimated the amount of levels I'd get from that, but I guess... Six and a half isn't that bad. Alright, so we got out of about a stack and maybe a stack and a half of coal, we got three stacks plus seven. So let's just put that in there. Um, and I'm gonna just take this chest because. Um, and just put it there. It doesn't seem very necessary. Now, this is the good stuff. This we're gonna have to make. Alright. Six, seven. There, seven by seven. We're gonna make a giant cube out of this. And it's kind of seven by seven. It's close enough. And last night I recorded more of The Walking Dead. I recorded episode three. It's really fun. Uh, I'm glad to have gotten around to recording that again. And so the episodes will continue for you guys. So look forward to that, I guess. Um, next episode of that should be up. Uh, if today's Monday, then it should be up Wednesday. Because tomorrow would be Don't Starve and then The Walking Dead. And I gotta say, this... Um, okay, not chapter, episode. This episode of The Walking Dead was a lot longer. Maybe not a lot longer, but it was significantly longer than the previous two episodes. And actually, it kind of worked out perfectly at the end because the credits were playing. And, you know, I usually just let the credits play out. And the last video, it ended up being that as soon as I said goodbye, it started and went to part six. It went from part six to part seven. And so basically, part seven ended up being like a minute something of only credits, so I didn't even have to. I mean, I just deleted that because 
Well, credits are important. That's not what you guys uh, click on the video to watch. And a video of only credits kind of seems weird. At least to me it does. Well, wow, this is a big thing of nether quartz ore. It's a good thing I wasn't touching that when I was in the nether earlier on in my Let's Play. I kind of just saved it for times such as this. And I was actually going to make a bank with it originally, but uh... Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. I feel like that's too unoriginal. I mean, banks are cool and all, but I'm using it kind of just for decoration and stuff. Not so much for banks, but I think it's going to turn out good the way I use it. At least I hope so. Alright, I'm going to get this layer done. I don't know if... No, we'll probably not have enough room for another layer. So, yeah, we only have seven, so I'll just put it like that. Okay. And actually, I'm going to... I'm going to jump down here. I just want to see, like, how big this is from the bottom. Get our carrots back. Oops. Yep, placing cobblestone is not how you uh, eat carrots. At least not the way I do. Okay, there we go. Stupid cobble. Alright, so... Pretty sizable chunk of nether quartz ore. And... Alright. Actually, I'm just gonna get up there so we can... Get started on breaking it. There we go. Good, I didn't take out anything with the water. This is fortune, right? Yes, it is. Hopefully we won't need any more of this, but we probably will. You know, just knowing the way people usually go through this. And actually, this episode, I know I said this last time, and it ended up being the opposite of the truth, but this episode might actually be a shorter episode, because I don't really have a lot planned. Um, I'm going to do this because I want you guys just to see the awesome powers of a fortune pickaxe, but also because, yay, I went to the nether. And the coal, I just promised to do that, and I forgot about it, so that's why I did that in this video as well. But really, all I'm going to do is finish up Wolfie's house, and that's pretty much it. I might give you guys a little preview of the next build I have planned. It's not a huge one, but it's going to give... It's going to give the little town here a little bit more of a purpose. Not a whole lot, though, because it's not really too functional. I mean, you got to kind of use your imagination. Which, I'm sure you guys have more of an imagination than I do, so... Shouldn't have any problems with that, I assume. Man, we might get to level 30 again. Look at this. The amount of experience you get from Nether Quartz Ore is amazing. If we get to level 30 again, I'm enchanting new pants. Just because on my good set, I have uh, thorns on the chest plate, and I want thorns in the pants too. I really I really like that enchantment, if you guys haven't noticed. And actually, if I do hit level 30 here, I'm going to take a oops, short break from mining this stuff. Because, well, you know, level 30, don't want to waste the levels. Got to make the most out of it, get the, get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. They've been doing that in uh, this season of UHC, actually. They've been like... It, well... Not... I don't want to spoil anything, but like... The way they enchant, they're being better about it. It's not really a spoiler, though. Because I'm not going to say what they get or anything, but... They will, um... Say, for example, they wanted to enchant... A, okay, there we go. Level 30. Oh, look at all that. We're not even done. Alright, let's go make some more pants. Like, for example, if you wanted to enchant a book with, or a few books with levels on it, and you had level 4, but you were also smelting iron because it's UHC or something to make the anvil, um, you want to use up all your levels before taking the iron out so you can get the most out of the... I just don't know if I have anything in here that I forgot about. Let me check real quick. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nope, okay. You know, you get the most out of it that way. Because the way you level up, it's like, 
what is it, exponential or something? I don't know. It, it, you, it's harder to level up. Um, seven. Put, put this diamond pants over here. I don't want to have a surplus of diamond pants, but hey, whatever. The reason I'm doing the enchanting this way now is because, oh, perfect, it's like nighttime so I can sleep. Whoa, did you see that? I was, I like flew. Well, that was kind of cool. Well, the reason I'm doing the enchanting this way and not with books anymore is because I couldn't get a Thorns book, and I know there's, like, a certain level you can be to get certain enchantments easier, like Fortune and Thorns, but oh, why, why did I just go around the long way? I did that last time, too. But, yeah, I don't know what that level would be for Thorns. That, I haven't really bothered looking it up. All right, we're going to try B-Dub's Lucky 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh wait, I gotta do it all over again. I took it out instead of hitting the thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, dang it, beat ups. It doesn't work for him. I don't know why I'm trying it. Oh well. Back to quartz. I wonder... Yeah, I gotta be really careful with this stuff the way I use it, because last time I turned way too much into uh, slabs. I was planning on... Actually, I might still do that. Yeah, I'll probably still do that. I was planning on using all the slabs for something, but never really got around to it. But we're going to work a little bit on the outside and the inside of this place, so I'll probably be able to get around to it this time. But to tell you the truth, I didn't know if I was going to do it at all. Wow, we're almost halfway to level 30 again. And there we go. Two enchants and a half in this episode. I did start with that much XP, though, but wow, look at all that. Let's see, four stacks and a half gave us one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks plus 41. That's a ton of quartz. Okay, I guess I'm not going to need these chests at all. I don't know why I brought them. Alright. Well, I'm going to put this stuff away and uh, Enderman damage. And I will come back to you with the materials I need to finish up Wolfie's house. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright everyone, I am back and heading on over to Wolfie's house. Um, a couple things that crossed my mind. I, I might want to change these pillars up actually. I mean, I know I said I would use pillar quartz or whatever, but I might even make them a little bit different than that. That looks a little weird sticking under the ceiling like that, but this whole place is weird, so what the heck, I don't mind. And let's put a crafting table in here. Uh, this place needs some more stuff. Watch out Wolfie, I'm going to put it in that corner. You like this house, Wolfie? Me too. I'm glad you like it. See, he likes this place. Alright, so I'm going to make at least one stack of the blocks right now. Um, okay, and we're going to need some more pillars, so let's make some of those. Um, let's see, I think we can go with uh, 30. Well, we'll get 34 because I had some on me already, but... We go that should be good for now slabs actually now I'll do the pillars first I have to get on the roof so need more blocks on my bar there we go and actually before I do anything else I'm sure I don't use my fortune pick on the stupid cobble when I have to mine it again all right so I would say the best way to let's get these pillars here again to change these out is just go from the top so one whoa that wasn't good. Um, I have some on. There we go. Always carry extra stuff, I guess. So one, two, three, four. All right, that one was only four high. Got that. Thank you. So one, two, three, four. No, it couldn't have been. It had to be because it was sticking up. Yeah, that looks a lot better, I think, than the 
chiseled stuff. And I just realized I jumped down and I have to get back up there again. Alright, good enough. Gotta be really careful mining this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't know how I counted four last time. I probably just said the number four twice. Because I'm a dummy. Alright, so this one should be like six or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There we go. And this should also be six. I'm not even going to bother counting. Although I kind of did in my head. I just didn't out loud. Alright, and what I want to do is... I kind of want to make these pillars that one might be a little too high we'll see we'll take a look at it um yeah we need to get farther back and we need to remove this for now so we can get a better look at it all right i kind of wish that pillar wasn't blocking out the other one but hey you know, I kind of like it with the uneven pillars like that. I think I'm going to leave it. Unless you guys think it's an absolute eyesore, but I kind of like it. This one can kind of stay low. And then if you look at it from here, you can kind of see all the different heights. Well, except that one. Did I not change that one? I thought I added one to it. I don't know. But yeah, that looks a lot better with the nice pillar texture instead of the chiseled texture. And for the slabs. What I was going to do here is, hmm, you know, now I'm not sure. All right, actually, let's get some food on the bar. And the best part about working on this now is that when it's night, I'm going to be able to sleep in here, but what I was going to do is something like this, and kind of just have it surrounded by these quartz slabs, but not so much that it's like an entire border. But uh, I think this will look good when it's done, because what it does is, here, let's, we gotta get rid of this one. It hides half this block, which I like, and it kind of adds even more depth to it, and which is kind of why I want to cap it off with the things. You know what, I'm going to try, let's see what it looks like with it capped off with the quartz slabs as well. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Um, let's see, how would I cap it off? Let me just put it on here. Alright, and... Yeah, whatever. Actually, I am liking the capped off look a lot better. Yeah, I'm going to finish that up. But as always, if you guys don't like it or have other suggestions, feel free to uh, post what's on your mind. And I have to, god dang it, I have to go back in here and get easy crafting table. Make more um, slabs. Okay, there we go. So maybe I didn't make too much slabs. 15. Uh, that's going to be 20 something, 27. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm liking the glass windows though. It's it doesn't have those stupid lines connecting it like the glass does, like the glass blocks, which I barely use because of that. But yeah, that's one of the nice things about that. All right, so and I think this might look good too. How it's like, actually, you won't really see that. Never mind. Anyway, let's finish our cap. And I think the cap is good because even when you're on the roof, it kind of gives it a more complete feeling. It kind of feels like that. If, I, if you don't cap it off, it's like, oh, someone forgot to finish the roof. Oh, man, I'm not going to have enough of these, am I? The thing is, I just don't want to make too much. Let's count how much we have left. One, two, three, four, five. Five left? All right, we can make more. Wow, it's already changed the time again. Uh, block of quartz. Yes, that's what I want. And I will hurry up, cap it off, go to sleep. Man, this episode probably is going to be a decently long one. I believe I'm about 20 minutes in, maybe a little bit less since I had that cut. Alright, let's, let's get to sleep. There we go. And let's have a look then.
Get rid of this giant cobblestone pillar that I kept making. I should really use dirt next time, but I don't have any dirt with me. Alright. Let's see. Alright, it's hard to get a far back view because of these houses right here. Yeah, I think that looks better capped off, even with the rough transition there. I think it's still okay. And it brings it, it kind of brings it together. Hmm, maybe even like an overhang to match where this would be. I don't know about that. I don't know, I have enough to try it out with. Maybe we'll do that later. But what I wanted to do is right here. Um, this is where I want to do my little bushes. This might be a little weird. What I'm going to do is... stone down there. Kind of do this, like a trap door down or something, so that the th it can still come through, and just kind of give it some bushes. I don't know if it'll go through the leaves as well. Let's see, actually, I have enough leaves to spare. Let's see what the block light is here. Um, it is 11. That's pretty good. And when you remove it, it is still 11 up there. All right, we can... I don't know if it looks better. Yeah, it probably looks better with this. Trapdoor's not as needed as much. But I don't know. Actually, I'll leave it without. Let's see what you guys think. I kind of want to do that by all the corners. I don't have to, but... I think that's probably the best part. And hopefully it won't melt this ice. I don't think it will. I When I tested this in creative... Oops, F3's still on. Sorry, guys. When I tested this in creative, it didn't uh, melt the ice wherever I put it. Okay, more trap doors, and I don't need the bucket on my bar, so that way I don't have to keep opening my inventory. Let's keep it like that. Whoa, did not mean to do all that. Okay, I'm going to have to fill stuff in now. Alright, let's take this dirt. Perfect, okay. We don't want this either. That, that's bad stuff. I'm going to try not to pick it up. Cobble, I mean, cobble. Glowstone back in the inventory. Pop our thing. Alright, and last one. And that should pretty much do it, because now this place has some outside lighting, some exterior lighting. Which is obviously going to be not much needed, so no mobs spawn around it. And it looks a lot better than, oops, just putting torches on it. And, it. and that gives me an excuse to put some bushes around, so give it some greenery. Looks pretty nice. Maybe if I had enough room to make a decent looking table, I could put like a flower pot in here. I wish you could put it on top of this, that'd be nice. Maybe add like a red flower, give it that. I don't know. I, I think red looks good. <laughs> it, it's my favorite color, but that's not the point. Um, that pillar looks odd from the back. Yeah, that's going to have to come down one. But other than that, we're pretty much done with this build. And let's see. Where, where's my stuff? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Um, how did I have this? Yeah. That's how I had it. All right. Gonna take care of that, I guess. Whoa, I am in the middle of two blocks. Alright, there we go. And, you know what? Actually, let's give this one the one that we took down from the other one. There we go. And hopefully since these are, yeah, these are offset, so you will be able to see them both, even if you're looking straight on at it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Because now it doesn't look like it's too high reaching for the sky. And also, it does look different. It's offset. Not even. Which is kind of my goal for this build. It wasn't supposed to be entirely even. And it isn't. I mean, it's even and it's not even. Because, here, when you look at it. Let's get out of here. You have the two doors like this. Symmetrical with the pressure plates. Like that. You have this, which adds to the effect you get from this, and even these sides, like the length of them, 
they're different, even though, I mean, they're not different, they're the same, they're even, even though they look very different. So basically what this is, it's kind of building symmetrical without actually building symmetrical. Because even when you go inside, that's when the symmetry ends. I mean, you got a, you got two potted plants, but they're in different corners. You have a lot of stuff over here. You have the bed, the table, and then here you only really have the crafting table because there's not a whole lot of room for stuff here. Carpet's kind of off-centered, actually. Yeah, off-centered carpet, off-centered lighting inside. Oh, and when, wait, we're not done yet. I forgot. The main reason we wanted this crafting table here, we need to make these stairs. And this is going to even add to the asymmetrical feel of this build. I can see. All right, yeah, we want to... How do I want to do this? You know what, this is in the way. I need to move it for a second. Alright, so I want to do... Th yeah, there we go. And then... Like that. There we go. Very nice. And... Do I want to take it out? No. Because it wouldn't make sense to do it over here. But it kind of doesn't make sense to have these corners hanging off either. Again, it's not too bad though. Alright, let's put our bush back. Sorry. There we go. And that, see, it's kind of rounded over here, whereas here it's kind of just jagged. So it's opposite, yet the same. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, but I like this build. And Wolfie likes it too. Don't you, Wolfie? Uh, I'll take that pant as a yes. Right, so I'm going to kind of... You know what? Actually, I'm going to end the episode here. The next build can be a surprise, but it'll happen in the next episode. I have all the supplies I need for it, but I think that was enough. I think we we did good. We got a lot done, and it looks a whole lot better than it did when I started the episode, I can tell you that. So that quartz trip to the nether really paid off. Anyway, as I said, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.